Hi all, as you know, I've been designing a set of user interface elements for use throughout the RTA project. I've placed these in the units template and I can place them in all of our active courses as well. It's in this last section entitled UI elements, and it's got a number of components to it, some code snippets, and also some prefabricated labels. I'll come back to those labels later, but I'm gonna start with the code snippets. So if you hit the read more here, you will see a set of the user interface elements. So for instance, there's fancy block quotes. There's a series of boxes like think, read, discuss, important. There's a series of alert. And we may use these alerts to give information back to the developers about what things they may want to customize prior to release the students. So for each one of those design elements, there's a little bit of HTML code. And so for example, if I want to use a fancy block quote in my content, all I need to do is to copy the code that's just below that, Control C or Command C, and then I need to decide where I'm going to use it. So let's imagine, for example, I want a discussion activity that's based upon a quote. All I need to do then is to create a new activity. I'll create a forum in the, so I'm just gonna put the dummy in here. In the description is where you would paste that code snippet, but remember it's HTML code. And so we need to actually paste it into the HTML editor. So you find that in the second row of tools. And if I paste that in and then return out of the HTML editor in the standard editor, there it is. Here's my quote. I can add my quote here, putting in a citation. And that's it, done. No, no more work to be done. And so you can see then it's really quite rapid, I think, to reuse those elements. If I hit save and display, that's what it would look like to the students. So it's achieved that design element that we were looking for. So that's the first of the UI elements, these reusable bits of code. The second piece is just to make things a little bit more efficient for you, maybe. At our last meeting, we discussed the idea of embedding instructions into Moodle itself that might help adopting organizations to rapidly develop up their Moodle before they release it to students. So we could, for instance, use some of these alert message types to put that information in. I've created a set of labels for that, which means that we can very quickly, if we want another sort of red important label, I can simply hit the duplicate feature of Moodle and I have a second copy. I can then, for instance, move that, maybe it's onto the home page. So I'm gonna move that, where am I gonna move it to? Up onto the unit information right at the top. And now I have a important notification. It's not published to students, so students won't see it. And I can simply edit that with the content. So that saves you one extra step of having to copy and co paste the code yourself. I've done that piece for you. But of course, it's only within the labels feature. So if you wanted to reuse these design elements in other tools, you would need to use the code snippet feature that I showed earlier in the recording. So that's the concept. We can refine this and we can add additional boxes, designs, etc. But I think the great advantage with this approach, and I, we demonstrated this in our last meeting, is once we've put these user interface elements into the um, design, they will adapt to the theme that that organization has. So under Snap, those warning or information boxes appear like this. If I were to look at that under a clean theme, for example, that looks like this. And that's therefore consistent with the look and feel of all of the content that's within that organization's theme. 